Speaking of speaking of other uh, platforms that are growing to accommodate gamers, uh, direct a uh, direct competitor for Amazon is eBay. And you can buy a lot of used games on eBay and other very interesting items that you can buy on yeah, eBay. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Jonathan. I was going to move on to our next topic, the um, RetroPie. What a RetroPie is, it's pretty much, I believe, just this like little small miniature PC. Very popular for emulation. Uh, but what's interesting is this is the first time I've seen this. Uh, it's sold now, but I'll post the link in the description below. There was a retro pie loaded with 797 Nintendo game, Nintendo Entertainment System games, and an emulation station for Raspberry Pi 2. What's interesting about this is that it, from what I know, because of copyright laws and whatnot, it's illegal to sell ROMs, especially Nintendo ROMs, like. Nintendo recently took down a huge emulation site, like all their games were on it, like all the old games, like NES, SNES, 64, GameCube, and all that. They recently took that down, so Nintendo's very active in making sure, because, you know, they sell, uh, you, you know, go on the Wii U, go to the, go to the eShop on the Wii U, and you're going to see Super Mario Brothers for Nintendo, Super Mario Brothers yeah, 3. Yeah, why? Why buy it when you can get it for free, right? Yeah, why buy it when you can get it for free? So as you can see, Nintendo has a vested interest in making sure that you can't get it for free because that's their property. They still make money from it. It's their right which, to do which that. I'm waiting for, which I'm waiting for Sega to actually catch on to because, you know, yeah. they sell their games on uh, Xbox Live and things like that, but they haven't – I don't see them really running they around trying to the stop money. them from – They probably don't you know, have people. the money. Say what you will about the <laughs> Wii U sales. Nintendo has money. They have fucking yeah. money. But it's just interesting because I, I believe this – doesn't this violate some sort of copyright laws and shit? Because I know that it's – you can em, – getting an emu, emulator is totally free and legal. But actually getting the ROM when you do not own the physical copy is illegal from what I've understood. And here we have online someone selling it for $25 plus six forty five for expedited shipping – from Ohio, that's right next door to me. Um, you know, it's loaded with all these ROMs, and it, it just, it's, it's, what, what do you guys think of that? I don't know. Like, is it, like, is it copyright infringement if you just program a game that looks and plays exactly like Super Mario Brothers? Like, I guess it would be copyright infringement if you make a bag that looks exactly like a Dolce and Gabbana bag and then sell it. Yeah. to somebody you know as a emulated dolce and gabbana but like i don't know if it should be to remind me of uh of my girlfriend's store because she has to deal with that a lot with clothing you know a rip yeah. coming in so yeah it's a, it's a copyrighted character so if you're using that character's image then it is uh then it is illegal yeah and you're essentially you're essentially paying or not play, paying you're essentially playing and using uh a game or a product, a consumer electronic product that you didn't pay for. Yeah. It's well, kind of I... like, this reminds me of uh, those shady dudes who would like sit there and make a bunch of bootleg DVDs and sit out in the corner somewhere and sell them. This is yeah. the exact Oh, they still same... do that. They still do that. Yeah, too. they still do. Okay, yeah, I was going to say, this is the exact same situation. They're just selling, you know, bootleg. You know, it, it is the movie or it is the game, but they don't have the right to sell it to you. Well, what if you owned you owned the cartridge previously? Would the ROM still be illegal at that point? Because it's not like you know if you downloaded illegally a a, a movie and then they came to your house and you no, had the no, no that goes along the, the same guy, guy that goes on the same guidelines of downloading music or and then burning a copy of the CD to listen to it somewhere well, no, else. I'm, I'm not I'm not really judging who's ever buying or downloading. What I'm judging here is the guy who has the balls to go on eBay and sell, publicly sell, and make money off of, you know, someone else's property and product. You know what I mean? Like, that's yeah. who I think uh, is in the wrong here. I think you're I think you're right. You know, just doing a little bit of research here, it, it makes sense. Like, like this one commenter on this blog post, uh, he said, uh, it's not strictly illegal. Emulators aren't illegal and neither are copied games, but distribution of copied games outside of personal use is illegal. Right, so that's you, what I was saying yeah. about the personal CD. Like, you can burn a copy of the CD or whatever, but when yeah, you start okay. uh, sending it out there to mass, you know, so other people don't have to pay for it, then it, 
becomes illegal. So this guy is basically he's basically setting up a digital table outside of a convenience store and saying, yeah. "Hey, come get your Mario here. Come get your Metroid." <laughs> 